Hi, I'm Chuck KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Adventures. Today we're going to do some fun stuff with some antennas. We're going to compare two identical antennas outside of one thing. And I can't tell you what that one thing is right now, but eventually we will. At uh, Coffee and Ham Radios, as you guys know that know my channel, I'm part of Coffee and Ham Radios. We sell antennas. And this is something that we're looking at uh, bringing out. It's for you QRP guys. Now it's a lightweight antenna that you can put on like a carbon six or something like that. And it's really not gonna weigh it down much at all, if any. And we got a little twist for it. Something I came up with, just kind of playing with things. And I just wanted to see, I have two, and I'll show those to you, identical antennas, except for, like I said, one thing. I know the SWR is not gonna be right. They should be long. I already know that, I don't care about that part. I just want to see if they're pretty much the same. Now I built both of these and they are identical, like I said, except for the one thing. So let's get going. I'm going to set these things up. I'll set one up at a time. I'll check my SWRs. I should have brought something to write with. I think I did. I'll write them down. And then we're going to uh, throw the other one up exactly the same and see what the differences are. If, if there are any, there may not be, and that'll be great if there isn't. If not, I have a workaround. So let's check it out. All right, sorry for the noise in the background there if you guys are hearing it. I'm gonna use this. I showed this to you guys before. I did a video on this thing. I will list that video in the description. This is the Carbon 6, a really good uh, strong mast. It is carbon, I don't, carbon's not my favorite, but to get a small one, that's kind of what you gotta go with. But it works, and it'll work fine for this, okay? I'm gonna use these. These are uh, electric fence poles. They're, uh, um, you hang the electric wires on these things. I'm going to use those because they will be the same. And I hope I brought the parts that I was going to bring. But anyhow, here's my two antennas. And as you can see, just looking at them like that, they look pretty much the same. The winder is to hold the wire. And it's basically our a shrunk down version of our regular winder for regular antennas. But here's all the stuff. Just some 26 gauge. Now we have some 26 gauge wire that we purchased and didn't actually use at this point. And that's why I'm trying to build something for you guys that uh, uses a smaller wire. So let me set this stuff up and let you, and you guys will see what I did and we'll see how these things test out. I've got one of the antennas with me. This will be the, now these are dipoles and you should know that dipoles are the testing is not really going to be on the dipole because we know dipoles work. And But the testing is going to be if it works with something that I have added to this. Now I am going to stint this mast holder. I'm going to stick the part that makes it just a little stronger towards where I'm going to set up at. All right, and this thing, you can, you can actually step on it. I want to bring it all the way down to the ground. I'll make it stronger. So it's pretty strong that direction. I'm gonna throw one of these out that way. One of these out that way. Those are not gonna change. They're gonna stay in the same spot once I get them set up centered as best I can. I know you guys probably can't see this very well, but this is made to go on one of these masts and fit nice and tight so you don't need anything else. This one needs to go this direction. So let me pull the wire that way. <laughs> trying to do this fast. It's really going to be warm today, so I'm trying to get this done before it gets warm. Don't worry, the next one should go faster. I'll probably cut a lot of this out. All right, there we go with that. I will throw this down here. And we're just going to go up with this. And this thing goes about 18 to 19 feet, something like that. Now this is for 20. And 20 is pretty short, but 20 is... Probably the best band. If you guys are doing POTA and stuff, you guys that do POTA, you know, 20 is like, like money. I said that once in a in a video that we did on a live stream with Ziggy and he loved it. And he told me, I, I didn't even remember saying it. All right, there we go. And I'm gonna take this one over here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see me or not. But basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get over the 120 on the angle. You want more than 90 degrees on these things. I've got just a little bit piece of bungee cord here. So that looks like I'm pulling it just a little bit. So this is about three and a, three feet off the ground. Oh, I bent it way too much, didn't I? Hard to tell when you're over there. 
what I'm trying to do is get it set as good as I can and then later I won't have to I won't change anything. All right, that should be good. I'll try to get these in a pretty straight line. Like I said, these are they should be long. I'm actually going to move it forward just a little bit. Like I said, everything's going to be I'm not going to change anything, so they're just going to hook to this. There's the fire boys. My brothers. <laughs> They may stop by later, who knows, they've done it before. That was Captain Matt Ludwig in charge there. I'm gonna go to 14, two, five, oh, middle of the general band. Basically, we're gonna go to SWR. Hit the button, we should be high, and I'll show that to you, I'm pretty sure we are. But if you guys can see, let me look at my glasses up so I can look through this camera here. So we're at 3.7, 3.8. All right, it's back and forth a little bit. Now let's just do a scan. We should dip before the middle. Oh yeah, you can see it's way over there. So it's pretty long. But that doesn't matter, really. I mean, I could make it better, but what we're looking at is 3.7, 3.8. All right, I'll be back. What I'm going to do is change antennas. All right, this is the other antenna. Let me get this. You guys can see it better. But my, but it's showing 3.8, 3.9, exactly the same. Because I told you guys, they were pretty much as close as I can make it, exactly the same. So we'll do a sweep, and it should be again. It should be long, which it is, if you can see to the left of the line would be long. Let's just go over now, since we didn't want to change anything before, but we will do this. We'll go over to the line. See the little cursor moving down there? Let me darken this just a little bit. My light changed on me. That should be better for you guys. Now let's just, let's do this one again. But now it should be pretty close to the middle. Okay, and I'll go back just a little bit. Right now we are at 13,440, so we're pretty long. And let's just see, SWR there is 1.28. So it should be somewhere in that area. That's pretty good. Excellent. So this means I can move forward with what my plan is, and that's great. Now, you guys that are innovative and stuff and have done a lot of antenna builds, you know that you can make this a link dipole. So, and we may offer it that way. Uh, I'm not sure. Right now, the thing is we're gonna run probably 20 meters, which means you can do 20, 17, 10, 15, all in links if you want to, if you wanna take the time to do that. The only other bands is like, uh, maybe 40 might be the other one you might wanna get. And we could offer that also uh, in an extra long, piece but right now we're looking at this we've got quite a bit of this wire uh, none of these antennas are going to take up enough to where we can send you a hundred foot roll which we do have also so just a thought you guys can do different bands if you want to 20 will get you like 20 17 15 12 10 6 maybe if you guys want to actually put all those links in it and your I would use the what we did in our original link dipole the little small two millimeter banana plugs Okay, let me show you guys something. I did this about, oh, shoot, maybe three, four years ago, smaller ones. This is from our bigger poles. But the problem with this, let me show you. You see how this one goes inside? It has this little rubber thing. It actually makes it pretty nice on this one. But let me just... All right, now see, so you see how this one goes inside there. You don't have to take this off. Now when you take this off, let me show you what happens. If you're not careful, all this stuff falls out. That's the way these come out. So uh, I've, I've, I've made one for this for myself, but I found one for you guys like this. It works really good. I will put a link to the video that I have on this, and I also will put a link to where you can purchase this. They're not very expensive. This thing fits in here perfectly. 
I just blew the end of the thing off because it fits so tight. It beats taking this off. I mean, I, this is this is all for me. I, I, I've gone away from this. I still use this on my, some of my big ones because I haven't made anything big enough to carry my bigger poles. But putting, and then it also puts more stress, I think, when you put it inside. I've never broken one though, okay? Just, that's all I wanted to say about it. Just remember that I think this is a way easier. You don't have to worry about it when you get done, okay? Oh, and also, if you guys have the new Gigaparts, um, uh, I forget what they call their mask, but it's the small one like this. It's actually pretty pretty heavy duty. It will fit in these also. I've, I got a buddy of mine, the Digital Rancher, did all the measurements for me. And what we're doing with this whole antenna setup, we'll probably work with that in, that mast also. If it doesn't now, I'll make it, I'll make it work. All right, just wanted to tell you guys that. All right, this is perfect. It's a pretty cool thing. Nothing earth shattering or anything like that, but just uh, it's about basically how you rewind your your antenna back onto the winder. It's pretty much, I've got a little special thing that I've done to it. Like I said, it's not, nothing earth shattering or anything like that, but it's pretty cool, I think. So this is gonna work. Now I, now I told you guys, Coffee and Ham Radios, we, you know, we're trying to bring you guys antennas and this is something new for the QRP guys. Uh, when you're, here's my thing. When you're doing QRP and you're only running say five to 10 watts, maybe less, a dipole is going to be one of your best antennas you can put up. Now, not always the easiest. Uh, Infed half wave, and we may bring that out in the QRP version also later. We've talked about it. We already have the winder for it. We just have to decide to do it. And if you leave in the comments, if you guys are interested in something like this, put it down in the comments. Let us know that this is something you might want and would be interested in. And that way, it makes the decisions with the other guys. I'm already sold on it because I do the kind of I do this kind of stuff. It'll help those guys make a decision if you guys come back to us and, and let us know this is something that is important to you guys. I think my camera, I don't know what's going on. It's, it's going crazy because it can't see my eyes, I guess. Oh, that's better. But it's sunny out here. So I'm Chuck KK6USY. This is Ham Radio Adventures. Thank you for joining me today and spending your time with me. I know your time is valuable. 73 all and hope to get you guys in the airways, maybe on a new Coffee and Ham Radio's QRP antenna. 73 all.